Hi everyone, it's me Rika Bundance. Welcome back to another What I Eat in 365 Days. So this is what I ate a year ago in quarter recovery. It is another wannabe milk, milky coffee. It's with plant milk. But, you know, with very little plant milk, I didn't dare to put more plant milk in there at that time. So I have kind of a apple pie cakey thing going on here with the yogurt bowl. Um, what I would have really wanted was real apple pie. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you just see... It. I just, it blows my mind how I really tried to replace things back then in these photos that you see right now instead of, you know, also I did just like what I ate there, but that was always my excuse that I was running away from the real thing that I was trying to replace. And that was the problem. I like, I still love oats, but I would not replace anything else with this. And the thing is, these are the tiny things that you kind of have to discover in your eating disorder as long as you are trying to just feed your eating disorder just run away from the fears that your eating disorder uh, like just throws at you that's that's where you just stay in the eating disorder and that's something that will always hold you back from just recovering from your eating disorder so you do have to keep challenging these fears in order to not be afraid of any kind of foods at some point in the future you cannot just say well but i like these foods anyway so why would i not replace other unhealthier foods for it but that is already judging and already restricting right and so we do need to just rewire the fears in order to just completely lose the fears um, so this is a yogurt bowl for the snack, a blueberry, no, it's actually a cherry dessert, you will see it in a, in a few seconds, with muesli. I'm pretty sure this is not granola, like, which is usually a lot more oilier and calorific. This is more like, you know, soaked muesli kind of thing and with a cherry coconut dessert. Which was a big thing. I mean, it's something very new. It's fattier. It's like also yogurt. It was kind of a little bit like liquid calories actually for me because I felt like it didn't really fill me up. And, you know, it was something like it didn't feel very much like eating. I don't know even how to describe because you don't really chew it so much. And adding that to a muesli bowl was a big thing for me like right now. When I look at it, it's like, well, there's nothing challenging about it for me now. It, and there's also nothing unhealthy about it, uh, what I see here. But um, one year ago, when I exactly on the day when I made that snack for me, it was terrifying. And that's so great for me to see. Um, I got a comment from Barbette Caravaggio, whose name I really adore. Um, she noticed that I had a lot more whole foods in my last what I eat now. Um, okay, let's see. The less you eat, the more you think about food. The more you eat, the less you think about food. That's how it is, guys. Think about it. This was my banana soup. Yeah, you can really say that because it wasn't frozen enough. I think I forgot to freeze the bananas in advance. And so, yeah, I mean, it, it really tastes nice. I'm not gonna say anything about that like against that but yeah you just see the repetitiveness and it's not only because I love the food it's also because I was afraid of eating anything else because this was just the safest and I was it was so hard for me to just stray away from that consciously just intentionally I just felt like I wanted to stay as safe as possible which made it hard for me um so barbat she says, um, how uh, are you concerned about falling back into ED thoughts? How does it feel to eat so healthy? And from what I can tell in this video, vegan for a day. While you're watching like the self-explanatory um, pictures on the screen, I'm going to answer, like respond to this one. It is, I mean, yes, I do. If you have seen my video on the breakthrough that I had last weekend, 
like where I noticed and it just blew my mind that the fear of meat is something that very much was much of my highest fear foods like one year ago it's just gone the fear is not there anymore I I just feel so free around whole foods also again and what I do really make sure sorry about the church bells in the background if you hear them what I do really make sure is that I make it as low volume as possible and that I also do not replace things like I make sure that liking that whole food that I might crave is just really the only motivation behind it and not me also feeding any kind of past eating disorder thoughts um, this is by the way what I ate a week ago this is a chocolate oatmeal and I always put some kind of nuts in there and also real chocolate and then there's the milky coffee which is like 10 times as much milk and you know calories than the one you saw like from one year ago um, so I I feel great eating more whole foods and I can it's just so great to be able to say it is not in any kind of there's no tiniest thought of restriction about it and i do make sure that it's the most dense that i can make the whole foods which is very different from when i did it one year ago in quasi recovery and also i really pay attention and make sure that i still include like non-whole foods because you know it is easy to just you know it, it is very very dangerous to just say well then you know you just go extreme about it again and are very rigid about it make a rule out of it again which is actually the eating disorder making it this is us cheer cheersing <laughs> with the coffee we always do that um some asmr love it um, and so it's very easy to let the eating disorder say, well, we're going to make a rule about, like, out of it. We're just going to only eat whole foods from now on again because we, you know, we lost the fears. We do not have to have the cake. And it's like, well, this is also eating disorder driven. This is, I can recommend these kind of Instagram accounts. Just stop the video and just look at these posts because they are just amazing. Um, I can really recommend following these accounts for eating disorder recovery. Um, this was a, yeah, this is cheese and tofu on bread, some rice or dough bread and some veggies. Also some remoulade, which is, yeah, kind of mayonnaise based. This was the cheese I used. And so, yeah, as Barbette says, I have periods where I challenge myself, but then fall back again. Like, because she kind of, the whole foods also kind of serve the role of being safe foods, you know, and that is really easy. We have to, that is something you have to really make sure you're not falling into when you're eating whole foods that you kind of go into the extreme again and make a rule out of it um, you have to make sure that anytime you want something that is not whole food you still have it and i would not have would not even have allowed myself to even eat whole foods for some time you know i would just make sure that there's no opportunity where i let that in i i just had to make sure i'm eating the scariest food ever now that I, some foods that used to be scary are not even scary anymore that's a different thing but you cannot do that on your own like on the eating disorder terms um earlier than 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 when the fears have um gone away you know what i mean this is a kind of yeah a peanut peanut and chocolate ice cream i was making with no water added so yummy It looks so nice and it tastes just as nice as, as it looks. Um, Barbette says, I do enjoy plant-based eating and if I eat enough without restriction, like you say, also eating avocado nuts, etc. I feel a lot better and less trapped than when I did high carb low fat. 100% yes. I think it is so detrimental to anyone to just, yeah, just say, well, I can only eat high carb low fat. Like to restrict within a vegan diet. 
messing around with the topics. I just want to live a nice life, have fun with my family and friends. <laughs> just saying, I'm just pouring it on. <laughs> yeah, just popcorn. I just found my love for popcorn again. <laughs> this was bomb, guys. I can just recommend it. It's yeah, it's it's a Snickers ice cream with popcorn. I'm saying I just love it. I could just swim or bathe in it. <laughs> That's what I said here. And it's not to replace a Snickers. That's the thing. It does taste different than Snickers. And if I wanted a Snickers, I would have the Snickers. And I do have the Snickers on a regular basis. It's just this is what I wanted there. Um, but yeah, it's it's so, so important to not make a rule out of it. Um, she says, eating vegetarian or vegan per se is not a problem to me. It's a problem to the moment I start fearing certain foods like oils and other fats or for example sugars. Yes. I'm so curious about your perspective now you've had such a plant-based food day during recovery. Forgive my extreme curiosity. No, <laughs> there's nothing to forgive because um, it's uh, completely welcome. Um, so I do feel great. Um... It's just, you know, it, it kind of came from the breakthrough that I had on the weekend. This is, by the way, rice pudding with raw milk that I'm still, um, that I still had from the last weekend to try. And there's canned peaches on top and there's sugar and, yeah, and also some broccoli. There. <laughs> there's sugar and dates also in the rice pudding. And it's actually oatmeal instead of the rice. So, um... Yeah, it was through the breakthrough that I um, noticed I foods that used to be scary are not scary anymore. And I can say that with all brutal honesty with myself. I used to do that in the quasi recovery as well, but then I just slipped back into a kind of relapse. And I was kind of like, oh, yes, I just wanted to, I just want the fears to be gone, but they were not completely gone. And that is where I was just kidding myself. And only you know if you still have the fears or not, and you will never be recovered if you don't recover, if you don't rewire these fears this is also an account i can really recommend you guys follow um, why eating breakfast is important even if you're not hungry i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye